We were studying the book of Daniel. The book of Daniel. And we came again to this portion of Daniel, the vision of the coming of the Son of Man in glory. As you can see right here, we're in the Schofield Study Bible, so it gives certain references to the New Testament. This is Old Testament, the book of the prophet Daniel. Now we're at Daniel chapter 7, verse 9. And this verse has been often quoted, and even some have attempted to give an interpretation of it. Daniel 7 and 9 says, I beheld till the thrones were cast down, and the Ancient of Days did sit, whose garment was white as snow, and the hair of his head like the pure wool. His throne was like the fiery flame, and his wheels as burning fire. Well, in studying this particular verse, we found something very interesting. Now, this is the King James Version of the Bible. So we want to compare this with the Jewish or the Hebrew. Now, up here, let's go to, we have the, the Jewish or the Hebrew based on the Masoretic. As you can see, that's verse, this is Daniel. Right here, here's the Hebrew of Daniel, the Hebraist. And now here's the Jewish um, translation. Now it says right here, it says, beginning with verse 9, it says, I beheld till the thrones were placed and one that was ancient of days did sit his raiment was as white snow and the hair of his head like pure wool his throne was a fiery flame and the wheels thereof burning fire now the portion that really drew our curiosity was the first part of it. Let's just zoom in a little bit. It's right here. This first part where it says, I beheld, I beheld till the thrones were placed. You notice that right there? Till the thrones were placed. Now, let's just come back to the King James Version for a moment. Same verse, but here's the King James translation. I beheld till the thrones were cast down. You see that right there? Were cast down. Now this is the first um, uh, phrase. Uh, how would we say the first? The first phrase of this. Mm, we, we call it a hareg. But yeah, I guess you could say the first. The first um, phrase of it up to the comma right here. It says cast down. This is the key difference. Cast down is here, right? Cast down. Now here in the Hebrew, we find that it says um, till the thrones were placed. Till the thrones were placed. Zoom in tightly right there. Till the thrones were placed. So then I said, let me go to the footnote that they have right here. And they say thrones. Here's what I found was interesting with the Jews now teach and learn themselves, apart from the so-called um, nominal Christians, says thrones. The plural is sometimes used in an abstract sense. So it's not throne, but it's thrones. Like, quote, the judicial bench, Psalm CXXII 5, or 122 and 5. They go on to say, if taken as an ordinary plural, it indicates the seats of the heavenly assessors acting in the name of the supreme judge. Now, I don't know about you, but when I saw assessors, heavenly assessors, recognizing that the Jewish or the Hebrew comes out of Egypt, I began to think of these heavenly assessors right here these particular heavenly assessors right here who act on behalf of according to the Egyptian the supreme judge and here's the supreme judge which is the Osar or Osiris now this particular scene is in um, Wallace Budge book 
and it's called, up here, it's called The Judgment Scene. Ani's heart being weighed in the balance. And if we zoom out, you probably have seen this before. This is a, a fuller version of it. But because of the details, we can go in close and really study it. So now here we have the so-called 42 assessors. These are the 42 assessors beginning here and moving along this way in this direction. So these are known as the 42 assessors. So let's return to where the footnote continues and it says, okay, the if taken as an ordinary plural, it indicates the seats of the heavenly assessors acting in the name of the Supreme Judge. Who they were is a matter on which commentators differ. Different commentators differ. Some hold that, they, that there were only two thrones, one for God and the other for the Messiah. Others say that the assessors were angels who recorded events in the heavenly book. But let's just go to that verse once again, and we'll choose to go to the Jewish version first, where it says, I beheld till the thrones were placed, and one that was ancient of days did sit. His raiment was as white snow. King James down here says, I beheld till the thrones were cast down, and the ancient of days did sit whose garment was white as snow. Let's return to this judgment scene where we see the 42 assessors. And let us continue, continue right here. And we notice, if we notice, if you will, basically it's a white garment. Not completely white in this particular rendition, but you can see with the atif crown, you can see the garment right there, down to the foot, so forth and so on. But this is according, they say, to the mythology, to the the parable from ancient Egypt, which is known as the mythology. But let's return to what the footnotes of the Jews say right here. Now it says, Ancient of Days, it says, An apocalyptic description of the eternal God who is the first and the last, according to Isaiah XLIV6, or... 44 and 6. Next it says, snow. As a symbol of perfect purity, it occurs in Isaiah I, 18, or 1 and 18. Then when you continue on to the breakdown of the verse, it says, pure wool. Better, spotless wool. Then it says, fiery flames. It says, as the most destructive as well as useful of the elements, fire is the medium through which in the Bible God often manifests himself, he being the source of death as well as of life. For Theophanes amidst flames, um, CF for, that's the CF is the Latin for con confer, in other words, compare, Genesis X, V, or 15 and 17, Exodus I, 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 2, which is chapter 3, verse 2, and Exodus X, I, X, or 19 and 18, etc. Then it says, wheels, the heavenly throne is conceived as a chariot, as in Ezekiel's vision of the Merkabah. And then it has Ezekiel I and 15. Now, there's no mention right here. Notice there's no mention of the difference between I beheld to the thrones were placed, which is in the Jewish of Daniel, and the King James of Daniel, which says something radically different. I beheld to the thrones were cast down. Now, think about this carefully. Most would just be familiar with the King James Version, so they read this. And one interpretation can be that Daniel was looking until the thrones. And remember, it's speaking about some of the Antichrist and the little horn and so forth and someone who opposed God as 
we have a real manifestation in this time of Rastafari revelation, those who conspired against the King of Kings. But if you read this in the context of Daniel, the cast down would, would seem to indicate that these other thrones would be torn down, thrown down, and then the Ancient of Days would sit after all the other ones are thrown down. And many commentators actually using only the King James and having no knowledge of the Hebrew or the other Shemitic languages such as the Ethiopic or the Amharic would just translate or interpret based on the faulty translation here. So it shouldn't read, I beheld to the thrones were cast down, but better, as the Jews have in the Hebrew of Daniel, I beheld till thrones were placed. But now let's take a look at the let's take a look if we will at the at the Amharic and see what the Amharic says. Now as we move over here, let's bring up the IOTA uh, uh, software and here is the Amharic and here is the English that we read, I beheld to the thrones were cast down, the ancient of days did sit, whose garment was white as snow, and the hair of his head like the pure wool. His throne was like the fiery flame, and his wheels as fire. Bamarinya, in the Amharic, it says, Zufano Chim, is kizarregu deles ayo. The Zemanat ye Shemegalawuma tek emete Libsum in the Berado anet ye rasumat agur in the Teruat it a nebre Zu fanu ye sat a nebelbal nebre Mena kura kurochuma ye mea neded sat a nebru. Now the first part is what we're concerned with right here, right now. Zufa no chim, the plural, is ki azaragu deresayo. I looked until, is ki until, zufa no chim, the thrones, and I looked until the thrones, zaragu, is ki zaragu deres, until they were prepared, until they were prepared would be, the more correct of this particular Donnell. Now, if we would even consult now with the what is known as the Open English with Hebrew Dictionary, let's go there for a moment. And here, Tinbete Donnell, Rafa Sabat, Akut Erazet Ena, Zufano Chemiski Zaragu Deres Ayo. Now, let's go down.